Hey, what's up? I'm Steph. I'm a DP and gaffer. And today we're going to break down how I lit these interviews for the Telly Awards. I tested out my brand new Godox F600 Buy on this shoot, so we'll also talk a bit about how that performed. But to start, this isn't technically a white psych because we got there and the walls were gray. So last minute we set up two white backdrops. Because of that, I had to change up my lighting plan on the day to accommodate the smaller footprint. And so I also sacrificed some of my C-stands for the backdrops. But that's part of the game and you have to be ready to roll with it. Whenever I'm filming with a backdrop, I light those first. On the left, we're using the Amaran 300C and a light dome too. On the right, we're using the Nova P300C with a soft box. I try to keep white backdrops at or below 90 IRE to make sure the editor has enough room in either direction to bring exposure up or down. You wanna make sure the waveform is even on both sides so your background is uniform. After my backdrop is set, I'm moving on to my key light. I chose the Godox F600 Buy because for one, I just got it and I wanna play with it. But also because when I film with the Tele Awards, I like to key with large frames and broad sources anyway to give their subjects pleasant, soft wraps. Larger sources also allow you to walk the key light further away from the subject, which minimizes the chance of washing out their skin tones or seeing the sources reflect back off their skin or their glasses. The Godox is a bit of a pain to set up your first time, honestly. Once you figure it out, it does get much easier, but I would still say this light is a two-person job and I'm not planning to bring it out on sets where I don't have an assistant. Right off the bat, it gave me a really great soft wrap around the face, as well as a large eye light. I wanted to make it even softer though, so I added some magic cloth, just wrapping it around the light as I didn't have a frame or an extra stand to T-bone it with. I still wanted some fill on the other side of the face to bring up this gradient a tad, so I added my Amaran F22C with two layers of diffusion on a very low setting. We had very limited floor space, so we kind of just snuck it in wherever we could. We didn't need a hair light since the backdrop itself gives off a glow that makes the subject pop. And here's a look at the final image. Thanks to the Telly Awards for letting me share this behind the scenes look at their hot take series. And if you like this video, be sure to hit subscribe and stick around for more lighting breakdowns, gear reviews, and behind the scenes looks at some of our sets.